Hey, it's Jen with Esborn Books and More. I wanted to let you know a little bit about the My First Reading Library. I got this for my daughter who is now five and we've just started really getting into them. She really likes the fact that she gets to participate in reading. And the way these are, work is there are 50 total in the whole library. And the first 22 books, these, these first uh, green ones right here, um, those are 22 books that are taken from the Esborn very first reading. With these, your child takes the first steps in reading with your help following the phonics methods used in most schools. The next 12 books, which are the orange ones here, um, these are taken from the Usborne First Reading Level 1, and they are delightful and very short stories for children to try reading by themselves. The final 16 purple ones are taken from Usborne First Reading Level 2, and these are slightly longer stories that build stamina and reading confidence. So that's how these work, and what we've been doing um, is at night we'll just choose one or two of them, and I'll take the first one, Pirate pirate pat and the way it works is the parent or the adult who is reading reads one side of the page and the child reads the other so I would read the night was cold the sky was black the window rattled tap 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 and my daughter reads tap 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 and as obviously it starts out easily and right now she can't read yet so she would repeat after me and we've learned um, more about what, what words look like and sound sound like. There's someone there, I'm sure of it. Sam, do stop barking. Sit, Sam, sit. And that's the page that she reads and uh, or repeats after me. And we do some uh, sight words and word recognition. And then at the end, there are puzzles that the child can do for, for good reading comprehension skills. So look at the pictures together and try retelling the story. Uh, why don't you talk about what they might all do next at the end of it. The next puzzle, choose the right word for each picture and find the words that rhyme. The first pair has already been linked as an example. So those are great to help you kind of discuss the story, learn more about, uh, more about the book and the words and that kind of thing. It's great reading comprehension and the earlier you can start working on reading comprehension, the better. And um, so just a, a quick peek at the next levels. This is the, the next one. This, is, this one's called The Three Wishes. And it's just a little bit, a little bit um, more challenging. And then you get into questions that are a little more challenging too. Can you put the pictures in the right order? Match the words to the picture? That kind of thing. Um, and then finally, there's a, here's a sample of one of the books from the purple that they can just, uh, try and read by themselves. And it's just a more detailed book story, but it's still very easy for your first, first reading experiences. And again, it has some great puzzles at the back for reading comprehension. Find the opposites. Can you see one pearl, two fish, three flowers, four pebbles, that kind of thing. So we're really getting into it and um, it's great, great use for learning to read. Thanks a lot.